Have you ever wondered how to deploy your Ruby on Rails app in an easier way? With DevOpness, you can have your app live in just a few minutes. DevOpness automates DevOps workflows and helps you manage cloud environments and deploy any application to the cloud. Let's start by selecting an environment within a DevOpness project. Then go to the Applications section and click Add Application. First, choose the source provider where your application source code is hosted. DevOpness supports all major providers, and for this tutorial, I'm using GitHub. Select the repository containing the Rails app source code. In my case, I'm choosing the official DevOpness Rails application example. You can find it in our official open source repository on GitHub. I'll copy its URL and paste it into the repository field to select it as our application official repository. For the application name, I'm going with Rails example app. Next, pick your application stack. Since this is a Rails app, I'll select Ruby as the application stack and use the latest Ruby version as the engine version. On the build settings, select Ruby on Rails as the application framework. Next, set the root directory of your application. For this tutorial, I'll be using an example Rails application from DevOpness open source monorepo. Since we're in a monorepo, the specified path to our application is relative to the repository's root directory. In this case, it will be examples slash applications slash Ruby Rails. I'll keep the default install dependencies command and leave the build command empty. Now, let's hit confirm to create our application. This application uses two environment variables, Rails NV and port. To manage environment variables in DevOpness, go to the application variables tab and click add variable. I'll enter Rails NV as the key with the value development. Now, I'll repeat the process for the port variable with the value 9000. Our Ruby on Rails app needs to be continuously running in our server. To set up Linux background process using DevOpness, we just need to create a daemon to start and auto reload the application. Click the add daemon button. We'll name this daemon Rails server and set the command to bundle exec Rails server. As this daemon is associated with our application, the command will run from the application directory as its working directory. Review and hit confirm to create our daemon. Let's make our app publicly accessible by creating a virtual host. Click on the add virtual host button. I'll choose the server IP address type. For the host name, I'll use the IP of an existing server. If you don't have one yet, you can set one up in about two minutes. Check out our AWS server provisioning tutorial on the card of this video. Our Rails app was automatically selected for us. I'll keep the default root directory and set the listen address to localhost 9000, which is the port we defined on our Rails app environment variables. Review all settings and hit confirm. Our virtual host is now linked with our Rails app. Time to deploy our Rails application. For that, let's click on the deploy button. I want to deploy the latest commit from the main branch, so I'll keep the default options. Let's select the servers for the deployment. In my case, I'm selecting the demo AWS server. If you don't have one yet, simply click the create a new server button to set one up quickly. Double check your deployment details. Verify the branch, commit, timestamp, author, and the server where your application will be deployed. Everything looks fine, hitting deploy. Now, we can sit back as DevOpness takes over. Watch your Rails app be built, deployed, and configured. It's like watching pure magic in motion. Our application has been successfully deployed. Now let's hit the server IP and check out the live app. Look at that, your Rails app is live, fully functional, from code to production in minutes. And that's it. In this video, you've seen how DevOpness takes your Rails app from code to live production in minutes, saving you hours of manual work. Experience DevOpness in action by signing up now for free.